Ireland went into this game against Scotland knowing that a win could be enough to clinch the championship depending on the result later in the day in Paris. Joe Schmidt's men were looking for an 11th consecutive win for the first time. But Scotland were brimming with confidence after wins against France and England. Gregor Townsend made just one enforced change with Blair Kinghorn in for a first start replacing the injured Tommy Seymour. Last year, Scotland beat Ireland 27 points to 22, and after surviving a spell of early Irish pressure, it was the visitors who made the first impression on the scoreboard when Greg Laidlaw landed a penalty following a rare foray into Irish territory for the Scots. That score settled Scotland down, and for a period they looked most likely to add to that lead before a momentary lapse in the 22nd minute cost them dearly. Peter Horn's ambitious pass wide was intercepted by Jacob Stockdale in circumstances very similar to his late try against Wales and the Ulster man raced away for the first try of the match. Stockdale proving to be an excellent finisher, this was his ninth try in eight internationals. Sexton had a straightforward conversion and Ireland were seven points to three ahead just past the midway point in the first half. Hugh Jones has been hugely impressive for Scotland so far in this season's championship and after 28 minutes he gave another example of why he's been such a key man for Townsend side. He chipped ahead and collected with Stuart Hogg in support, a try looked on. However, the pass from Jones lacked accuracy and the Irish line survived. Jones had done everything right up until the final pass. It was just one of a few fluffed chances from the Scots throughout the game. But there would be a final sting in the tail at the end of the first half when Ireland added a second try. Murray, Aki and Ringrose combined before picking out Stockdale on the wing who danced inside and crossed for his and Ireland's second try of the match. The winger becomes the first Irishman to score six tries in a Six Nations campaign it was a real low for the Scots just before the break. Brilliantly executed score by the men in green. And Sexton landed a superb conversion from beside the touchline to leave Ireland 14 points to three ahead at the halftime break. Ireland picked up in the second period where they had left off in the first. Sexton opted for touch with a very kickable penalty and their ambition was rewarded from the line-out when Rory Best found his man and the Maul got forward momentum. Connor Murray was sharp enough to nip into the gap and with Aki on his shoulder, the Munster man forced his way over the line past Hamish Watson for try number three for Ireland. It was the perfect start to the second half for Schmidt's men. Sexton converted and Ireland were 21-3 ahead. Set. It might have looked like game over, but nobody told the Scots. And in the 51st minute, they scored a wonderful try to work themselves back into it. It was an interesting setup for the backs from the scrum. And it paid off through the hands of Laidlaw, Russell, Hogg and Maitland who found Kinghorn out wide and he did brilliantly to dot down under pressure from Ringrose. A first try on his first start, a really lovely score to get the Scots supporters out of their seats. Laidlaw was just off target with the conversion and it was Ireland 21, Scotland 8. Yeah, good contest mine as well. We are almost on the line mate. With just over 10 minutes to go, Sexton once more opted to go for the corner instead of the posts. And once more, Ireland were rewarded. Knowing that a bonus point victory would leave England requiring the same in Paris, Ireland got them all rolling from the line-out. And replacement hooker Sean Cronin finished with a flourish to snatch the bonus point and put real daylight between the sides. Scotland unable to halt the green machine. Sexton slotted the conversion over to leave 20 points between the sides, 28 to 8. It was job done for the Irish who travelled to Twickenham looking for a first Grand Slam since 2009.
An 11th consecutive victory for Ireland for the first time. And depending on the outcome between France and England, a third championship victory under Joe Schmidt. Scotland are definitely an improving side under Gregor Townsend. They finish their campaign in Rome next week. But for Ireland, it's all eyes on Twickenham. Final score at the Aviva Stadium, Ireland 28, Scotland 8.